Yeah, Carol, well, she argues it's not illegal in South Carolina to have a pet raccoon, saying she's tried to be a responsible pet owner like anyone else. Wow. This is Bandit. Are you done? Christy Mills says Bandit has been a member of the family for two years. I just want to love him. He brings so much more happiness to our family. A few weeks ago, Mills says some people close with their family came to her house unexpectedly when Bandit reportedly nipped the child inside their house. I have a ring camera. It alerts me if anybody pulls it. You know, it never went off. Um, I didn't open the door for them. Mills claims the child has been around Bandit many times before, but now she says DHEC is involved, ordering her to hand Bandit over. To have him euthanized and his head chopped open and tested for rabies. Mills says she takes Bandit to the vet regularly. She says she even has records showing Bandit's been vaccinated. The vaccine that the licensed vet administered him is not proven to work on rabies, to work on raccoons. But Mills says she was never told that. I called everybody to see if there was some other option besides killing him. <gasps> what was that? I want him to live a normal life that any animal deserves. He deserves that. He has brought a lot more happiness. She says DHEC has left several notices on her door now. According to this notice, South Carolina law says in some cases an animal can go through a quarantine period after an incident to be monitored for rabies. However, the law appears to only apply to dogs, cats, and ferrets. The notice saying any animal other than those has to be euthanized. Oh, yeah. Or face 30 days in jail and pay a fine. Like I told them I was, I mean, I'm not giving them my raccoon. I will to let me know when I need to go turn myself in and I would go do that. And now we have reached out to DHEC and are waiting to hear back. SCDNR says there are no specific laws prohibiting raccoons as pets, but there are rules about how the raccoons are obtained. Carolyn Nigel.